When it comes to narcissistic individuals, you can have the overt grandiose narcissist and you can have the covert, fragile, vulnerable narcissist. You can also have a narcissist that will happily use overt behaviours if they believe they can get away with something and covert behaviours to undermine you in a way where you don't even recognise what is happening to you. When it comes to narcissists, they can often use subtle covert tactics to erode your self-esteem. These methods can be incredibly challenging to recognise, which is what makes them particularly insidious. There are lots of different ways narcissists will covertly destroy your self-esteem, so please do add ones that you recognise into the comments. When it comes to covert narcissism, this is where they're a little bit more underhand in their behaviour. So they will, instead of outrightly criticising you and accusing you of being too thin or too fat or not good enough or there's no way you can achieve that, they'll often give you that backhanded compliment. They will frequently use subtle criticism and backhanded compliments to undermine your confidence. And these remarks are often disguised as helpful feedback or jokes, making them much more difficult to confront. Because we do need jokes. We do need humour in life. We also need to learn not to take things personally, even when people are having a personal attack at us. With a narcissistic individual, their backhanded, is where, their backhanded compliment is where they're going to praise you with that subtle dig following it. So they might turn around and say, wow, you look incredible in that dress, but it'd be perfect if you just lost a couple of pounds. And then when you say, what do you mean by that? Oh, I'm just trying to help. I'm just trying to be supportive. I'm just being honest. You cannot call a narcissist out. Well, you can call them out, but they're just going to twist it. They have an answer for everything that works in their favour. You have to instead take a step back, recognise their manipulation and their intent behind their comments. Respond with confidence by focusing on your strengths and seeking validation from supportive people. You can just say something like, thanks for your advice, but I'm quite happy with how I am. They will probably come back with something else. And this is when you have to use their methods when they stand there and just it doesn't seem to go through. You just have to not let it go through. Change the subject on them as they change the subject on you. A narcissist will gaslight you. Narcissists use gaslighting to make you doubt your perceptions and your memories and your sanity. And it can leave you feeling confused and unsure of yourself. So they will simply just turn around and say, I never said that. You must be imagining things again. And then as a human, if you've got that in the message and you go and show it them, they're like, wow, are you keeping records? Are you always after you stuff against me? You took that out of context. You misunderstood it. Again, they have that answer for everything. Now, keep a journal of events and conversations to validate your experience. But don't seek that validation from a narcissist. They're not going to give it to you. They're just going to gaslight you further. Withholding attention, affection and support. Now a narcissist can shower you with attention, affection and support when they want something from you. And then when you're of no use to them, they disappear on you. Narcissists often withhold that attention, affection and support to make you feel unappreciated and undervalued. They dismiss your achievements. They ignore your emotional needs. You achieve something and they become indifferent or they claim how they talk about how they've achieved something far better or how they'll take the credit, how you couldn't have done it without them. When you share a personal accomplishment with a narcissist, they will respond with that indifference or change the subject. Learn to celebrate your own achievements independently with people who genuinely appreciate you. Practice that self-praise and that self-recognition for your own self-worth. Undermining your success. Narcissists will undermine the success by attributing your successes to pure luck. Or they will minimalise the significance. Well, what's the big deal in that? Anyone can do that. 
this makes you feel that your efforts and your talents are unimportant and not valued. They can turn around and claim you only got that promotion because you sucked up to the boss, not because you're good at your job. A narcissist will refuse to suck up to their boss unless they want something from their boss. So again, it's partly their projection. They don't recognise your hard work and they don't want to. You have to recognise your hard work and take pride in your hard work and validate yourself. Don't look for that external validation. Keep a record of your accomplishments to remind yourself of your capabilities and your achievements. Silent treatments and stonewalling. People can fall silent for various reasons. With a narcissist, it's a pattern of behaviour. When their parents call them out or say no, when their children quiz them about something they don't want to be quizzed about, when their partner calls them out, they fall silent on their friends, their parents, their partners, their children. It's who they are. Narcissists use the silent treatment and stonewalling to punish and to control you. They withdraw communication to create those feelings of isolation and unworthiness within you. After some of the most minor disagreements, they can refuse to talk to you for weeks or days. They can block you on social media, leaving you anxious and desperate to communicate with them. And then when they unblock you and you can get in touch with them, they gaslight you and claim that they never blocked you. You must be imagining things. There must be a glitch with the system. Understanding this behaviour is a form of manipulation and stop internalising the blame. Instead, focus on maintaining your emotional well-being and seeking support from supportive people while distancing, distancing yourself from unsupportive people. Triangulation. Narcissists engage in triangulation by bringing a third party into the relationship dynamics to create jealousy, rivalry or insecurity to keep you off balance and trying to gain the narcissist's approval. They will frequently compare you unfavourably to someone else such as your sibling or an ex-partner or a colleague. Recognise the triangulation tactic for the manipulative manoeuvre that it is. Trust your own worth and avoid competing for the narcissist's approval. The person who wins is the person who walks away. Focus on healthy relationships that affirm your value. Projection. Narcissists will go all out to project their own insecurities, faults, flaws, mistakes and wrongdoings straight over to you, making you feel responsible for everything that they do wrong for their negative traits. This deflection erodes your self-esteem and shifts the blame onto you. Narcissistic individuals lack empathy, so they are some of the most uncaring people you could ever meet. They're very self-centred, so they're some of the most selfish people you could ever meet. Yet they themselves will accuse you of being selfish or uncaring whenever you dare to say no to them so that they can manipulate you and get their needs met by you. Identify and reject their projections. Understand that these accusations are more reflections of the narcissist's own issues. Reaffirm your quality of clarity from yourself and from supportive people. Covert tactics used by narcissistic individuals erode your self-esteem and can be very challenging to recognise and confront. Don't confront a narcissist, they twist it. Understanding these behaviours and employing strategies to counteract them can protect your self-worth. In order to maintain who you are as a person and your confidence, foster supportive relationships with yourself and with others. Practice that self-compassion. Seek external validation from trusted individuals only. And sometimes you have to come to yourself to be your own best advisor. So you have to come to yourself as though someone you really care about is coming to you with your situation, asking for help. What advice would you give that person? And that's the advice that you need to take on board for you.
If anyone has any thoughts on this video, please do add those into the comments for people reading through. Thank you very much to all the returning subscribers and your continued support with the channel. It's greatly appreciated. If you are new to the channel, I'm Elizabeth Shaw. This channel is all about narcissistic behaviour to give you more understanding of the people you might be dealing with within your life, how to handle yourself around those people if you cannot go no contact and different methods to find what works for you to help you understand and overcome narcissistic and emotional abuse. If you do find the information helpful on the channel, please do subscribe. If you are looking for further help and support in understanding and overcoming narcissistic and emotional abuse, I do have several online guides available and those teachable links are in the video description. If you're looking for someone to speak to, I have partnered with BetterHelp and their sponsored link is also in the video description. I do also have several books out on Amazon, 15 Rules to Deal with Narcissistic People if you cannot go no contact, a narcissist handbook which is the ultimate guide to understanding and overcoming narcissistic and emotional abuse and how to create boundaries around those who do not have any respect for your boundaries. They'll be in the description also. There is a new book coming out on the hilarious and sometimes horrifying memes and the meanings behind these memes to help understand and overcome narcissistic and emotional abuse. Go out there and create the day that you deserve because you do deserve to have an amazing day. Bye.